Our solar system hosts four rocky planets. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. But there should have been five. Billions of years ago, planets were forming all over our solar system, but there was an area in between Mars and Jupiter where the gravity of Jupiter pretty much pulled apart anything that tried to form. Today, the scattered remains of a failed rocky planet fill this gravitational battleground. Its debris forms a vast band of rubble around the sun called the asteroid belt. Rocks inside the asteroid belt range in size from grains of sand to giant boulders hundreds of miles wide. When I first started studying astronomy, we called them rocks, dry rocks. Now we understand that there may be a lot of water, maybe even liquid water, on some of the larger asteroids. Our newfound understanding of asteroid water comes from a study of meteorites, tiny fragments from the asteroid belt that sometimes fall to Earth. I've got a sample of a meteorite called a carbonaceous chondrite. And it looks and feels rather dry to the touch, but I can tell you that that sample actually contains about 20% by weight water. Even crushing doesn't release the hidden moisture because the water is chemically bound to the minerals that make up the rock. And let's see if we can get some heat going here on our, on our burner. Heat allows the water molecules to break their chemical bonds and escape as vapor. Look at all that water coming out. Just this small sample of meteorite is driving off all of this water. So here is direct, tangible evidence of the, of the amount of water, the astonishing amount of water that can be delivered to the Earth from the impact of, of asteroids. Four billion years ago, countless asteroids smashed into Earth during the late heavy bombardment. Each impact generates an intense burst of heat that releases the water trapped inside the asteroid. Water vapor then falls back to the ground as rain. And this same water still exists today in our oceans, our rivers, and even in our coffee cups. When we look at this fingerprint of deuterium on the Earth's water, it better matches meteorites and asteroids than it does comets. So yes, certainly some of the water came from comets, but the majority of water in your body right now, amazingly, may have come from the asteroid belt. 